Hey guys, Kat here with Standing Stone Kennels and DT Systems Pro Staff. And I wanna to talk to you about traveling with your dog, whether you're going on a family vacation or even on a hunting trip. Traveling with our best friends and family companions is very common, but there are some things that you need to consider before hitting the road. One of those things is pottying on leash. That is something that gets highly overlooked because most people have fenced in yards and they let their dog out to go potty, they do their business, roam around freely, and then come back inside. Well, when we're on the road, we don't have the luxury of free range potty breaks. So getting your dog comfortable going to the bathroom on leash will be very important because if they're not comfortable going potty on leash, they may try and hold it the entire road trip and that could either get messy or make their stomachs upset. Something else that we want you to consider is how your dog is going to travel with you. We recommend that your dog is crated while they're in the vehicle with you. It's not only gonna keep them safe, but it's gonna keep you safe as well because they don't need to be ping-ponging around inside the vehicle with you. Having your dog in a crate can also help if you're struggling with car sickness. It gives your dog a place to be calm and lay down. Helping your dog lay down will help with motion sickness, as well as not feeding them right before you hit the road. If you do need to feed them before your road trip, make sure they have plenty of time to digest what you've given them. If not, try and hold off on that meal until you reach your destination. Lastly, you can also give them a non-edible chew for them to focus on while they're in their crate in the vehicle. Something else you need to consider is when you stop for potty breaks, where you're going to stop. If your puppy isn't fully vaccinated, you're going to want to avoid high dog traffic areas so that your puppy doesn't potentially pick up something that could make them sick. Lastly, pick up after your dog. It's just that simple. So now that you've considered these five things, you're ready to hit the road with your dog. I'm Kat the Dog Trainer, and I'll see you in the next video.